everyone and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you the presents and everything I got for Christmas of 2018. So if you all are very interested in seeing what I got, then please keep watching. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not trying to brag. I did get quite a few amount of uh, presents considering what I see everyone else got. I actually have quite a lot of stuff. But that's also because there's nothing expensive that I want. Uh, like the most expensive thing I ever want would be like a hundred dollars. Um, I don't, because I have headphones, I don't want new, like the Apple AirPods, they're like four hundred dollars. Like there's nothing I need. My laptop was fine, my straight hair straightener was fine, so there was nothing I needed. So I just got um, quite a lot of slightly cheaper items so I do have quite a lot of product quite a lot of things I was gonna say a lot of products <laughs> I did get quite a lot of things but I'm not trying to brag this is just showing you what I got so like usual I'm not going to tell you who gave me what I'm just going to pick everything up and show you so the first thing is a bottle of the coca Lada delicious blend of coconut flavors liqueur thingy um, this is from Dan Murphy's which is a very big bottle shop we have here. It says taste of the tropics. Basically, I'll show you later I got some liqueur flavors that will mix in with this as well um, This says a delicious blend of coconut flavors crafted with the utmost care to create a delicious Caribbean inspired beverage got a perfume this year, which I did not ask for so very very rarely I think once I got a perfume when I didn't ask for one so the person who chose this uh, actually did a very good job because they know nothing of perfume and yeah so I got the kiss by Rihanna perfume I've already thrown the box out because I have already actually filmed this video once but I have worn this perfume every day since I got it and Christmas was three days ago so yeah the lid is the entire gold thing and oh, it just smells so nice it smells very clean and fresh but also kind of vanilla -y. Um, it's not too strong. It's not very overpowering. It's a little bit softer. It's a little bit more grown up than some of my other scents and I Really really like it. I love the pale blue bottle. I'm holding it a bit higher so you can see it against the wall um, I love the pale blue bottle and yeah, like I really really like this because I Say that I really really like all my perfumes, but that's because none of them smell the same like they're all very different so that's why I like them all but this is something that's very handy I was going to buy one for myself but when I got it as a present obviously I don't need to and it is a yoga block and strap so I do quite a bit of yoga and I have a yoga for beginners DVD which I do a lot more than the weight loss one because the weight loss one goes very fast but the, the yoga for beginners one has got two different like two different videos on it basically and one uses a block and strap and I really like it but I was using a like pile of books and my TheraBand and my TheraBand is very stretchy so I don't have like it's an extra workout on top of it because it's stretching and it just didn't work as well so when I got this I was very happy to finally have one every year I get a calendar because particularly the past two three years I've really really started using it this year in particular so 2018 I use my calendar all the time the hook for it is just above my desk and I write on it all the time even the smallest little thing like phone bill due things like that it gets written on there so I obviously need a new one for 2019 and I got this Curious Kittens one. I was going to hang it up last night and then I forgot so that's why it's out of the package but I got this Curious Kittens one. My stepsister bought my calendar last year and I hope she didn't buy me one this year. I haven't actually got her presents yet uh, so I hope <laughs> she didn't buy me one but anyway I'll just put it at my dad's. Um, so these are the pictures that it has. They are absolutely adorable. I love cats and kittens. Uh, so yeah, for, for example, this is the one for January and it's just adorable. They are so cute and fluffy 
and it just there's one that reminds me of Tinkerbell there's one that reminds me of the cat that lives downstairs um, there's one that sort of reminds me of our cat Shadow she's actually under my dresser at the moment um, but yeah this is very this again is a more useful gift because I use it so much particularly when I started TAFE and I was a lot more productive so I kept one of my gift bags and just chucked all the like little things into it so I'm going to go through that first and the first thing that's on top is actually a cooler bag. It's a, it looks like that's the one I have, but that's the shape of it. It's like a um, bag that's insulated. I've got the mint green spotted one. Um, my mum just bought this. I think it came with something she bought as like a free gift or something. That's what it seems to look like. Uh, but I, she bought, she thought she'd give this to me rather than her keeping it. I got a pair of swimmers and I knew I was getting this because I chose them. Um, and they are plain black. They're just, it's a one piece because I prefer one pieces because you can put them on and that's it. Just leave it. All the time when I have two piece swimmers, like I get the long shirts. I don't wear bikinis. Um, but like the shirt lifts up if I jump in the pool or the straps come undone or it just... Either the pants are too big and the shirt fits, or the shirt fit, like, is too small, whatever. So that's why I like a one-piece. But these ones have mesh, like, at the top, and it's also got a mesh stripe through the center. Um, completely plain black. I like plain black because it goes with everything, um, and black is a bit more slimming. My This was from my dad's side of the family, and he did say... To, like he would he would get me like a more expensive pair um, these are just from Kmart he did say he would get me more expensive pair but I said basically these are just going to do me this summer and that's it we're going away on a holiday mid-January for about a week um, and I want these for then tomorrow I'm going to test them out at the beach um, but I did not want an expensive pair that's only going to last me this summer I'm someone that's like if I buy something expensive, I want it to last. This is something I did already open and eat, but I got a packet of honeycomb flavored Maltesers and they were delicious. To go along with the honeycomb Maltesers, I actually got two boxes of the regular Maltesers. We love Maltesers in our family. So I got two boxes of them. I opened this and it's two uh, canvas panels. Normally I paint on a canvas that's like that thick and these this is a double pack of little panels so if I get if I use these they might stick on the wall a bit better because um, I stick my stuff up with blue tack because we don't have any hooks uh, so yeah I've got two panels I haven't painted on panels before uh, I sh it shouldn't be too different but I thought it was really cool and to go along with that I also got a normal canvas uh, the Montmartre brand is starting to bring out a sustainably sourced range which i think is very very nice and very good uh because we need to start and be more sustainable and start being a lot more kind to the environment so i am um, apparently the canvas part itself is a little bit more sustainable as well um, and i can feel it says that the frame is supposed to be sturdier and things like that and i can feel it feels like it is compared to my other ones i reckon i could snap it but this one the the frame's a lot thicker as well. Uh, so yeah, this one feels really, really nice. And normally I just buy the cheapest one. These, This one was only $4, I can see. Um, but if Montmartre are bringing out an entire range of the sustainably sourced ones, I would buy them over anything else because I'm trying to be more sustainable. I got a new manicure caring kit. Um, this one's David Jones brand, which David Jones is a department store here. It comes with a little thing to go in between them so they don't scratch each other. But this is what it looks like. The other nail kit I have, I've had it since I was like 12. And I'm now 20. So I thought it was time to get a new one. <clears throat> this is fully stainless steel. The only thing in here I won't use is the nail file. I hate nail files in general, but I really dislike using the metal ones um, but it's got some brand new clippers it's got one the big ones which are for your toenails I've been meaning to buy big ones for my toes for like years smaller ones to do my fingers it's got some scissors which I normally only use scissors on like my eyebrows or eyelash like fa false eyelashes or anything so um, I still have the tools there are some tools that my old one has that this one doesn't 
but it's more like the cuticle cutter things in my other kit were just had it the clippers had had it so my mum said this was actually fairly expensive now to go along with that i also got a lacura essentials um like five function manicure pedicure kit it's got the like little five heads on it it's got it's like a electric nail file basically it looks like that um and it's got a file like a nail file a shaping tool a buffing tool a cuticle tool and then a polishing tool so this basically is almost like um those brick things you can use the four-way buffer brick thing in a little electronic form which i thought was cool because i my little brick thing has actually fallen apart i should buy another one um but this is like an electric version so i thought that was really good um and it's got all the instructions and everything so yeah ah the last two chocolate items i got a bag of these little like honeycomb bites these are my absolute favorite if i go if we go to the movies i don't buy potato chips i don't buy popcorn i buy a bag of these now we only go to the movies like four five times a year if that and it's with my dad so i don't eat these all the time but these are my absolute favorite uh i buy them all the time and they're only like three dollars a big w so they're really nice um, they also make big honeycomb chunks and things like that, but I like the little balls. And my other packet is a family size packet of uh, normal chocolate M&Ms. Earlier when I was talking about the coconut rum that I have, I bought that to mix in with these flavours. So it says on the thing, just add rum. I bought the rum liqueur thing because it's... Well, got the rum liqueur thing. But this is a tropical cocktail pack. It comes with like the, rim, the crystals at the top that I can rim on the glass. And then it's got um, a pineapple flavour, a coconut pina colada flavour, um, blue Hawaiian, strawberry and citruc, which is basically for a Mai Tai pina colada. The blue Hawaiian just says cocktail, strawberry daiquiri and then a mojito. So it tells you on the side how to use it, but it's got these like flavouring things, um, which I thought was really cool. Another thing I got, which is also partially alcohol related is this giant pack of cocktail flavors so it comes with this giant box and it's called the 15 global cocktail mixes so basically there's a cocktail flavor from all around the world so it's got them on the top here it's got an apple teeny from new york number one cup from britain Pina Colada from Puerto Rico, Sydney Sunrise from Sydney, Moscow Mule from Russia, Tropical Painkiller from the British Virgin Islands, Margarita, which is Mexican, Blue Hawaiian, which is Hawaii, Ruby Red Sangria from Spain, Mojito from Cuba, Peach Bellini from Italy, Singapore Sling from Singapore, Capriana from Brazil, Mai Tai from Tahiti, and Peru Sour from Peru. And what I also like is at the front, Above the little thing, it tells you what type of glass you can use. Now, I will just use a normal drinking glass, normal water glass, because we don't have cocktail glasses. We don't have anywhere to put them. But if you were someone who wanted to give this to, if someone had like a home bar or something like that, or if, yeah, so if they're just into it, it tells you the type of glass you can have. And also on the back, at the top of the box here, it has instructions on how to make every cocktail. I probably will just mix this either with the rum that I have or vodka. That's usually what I do. I don't tend to buy all the other stuff, especially if it's like like gin. I don't buy gin. I really cannot stand gin. So I'll just mostly mix these in with vodka or the coconut rum. Um, but I thought this was really cool. And you can tell my family likes to drink. Another food slash drink related item that's not actually alcohol is these coffee mixes. I love coffee. We have a coffee machine here. It is an Aldi one, but it's amazing. Um, and I drink instant coffee. I love the flavored stuff. I drink any hot drink. So I'll drink tea, hot chocolate and everything else as well. But I got a, this, this I believe is supposed to be more for the winter because even though it's summer here in Australia, Target and everything still sells all like winter Christmas stuff. Um, but it's got uh, cocoa powder, cinnamon syrup, which I'll probably mix more in with a chai latte, vanilla sugar, amaretto, which is almond flavored syrup. Don't really know how I like that. I don't tend to like almond in my coffee, but I'll try it. Cinnamon sugar and some vanilla syrup. So I will definitely get some use out of this as well. 
um, I probably will use this maybe more towards the winter um, we'll see but I really really want to use the vanilla sugar and the vanilla syrup this year I got another Duna cover even though I told everyone I didn't want another one because I have too many but there's a few that I don't quite use so I'll probably um, donate them to someone else but my mum just thought this would look very nice on my bed my bed is white all my furniture is white and she thought this would look really nice so it is like seafoam green mint green this like light tan color um, I'll show you the picture here as well actually this one's bigger so that is what it looks like I will be washing this up tomorrow and everything and I'm hoping to vlog tomorrow because I want to go to the beach and things so I will show you this on my bed when it's done if not please check out my Instagram the link will be down below I will post a photo when it's done um, this one for once is not a microfiber duna cover a lot of mine are microfiber which is nice I love the feeling of it but it does it's a bit of a pain because it like rolls up all the time uh, this is also reversible so it's got this color in like very small polka dots on the other side so I love duna covers that are reversible because it's like you get two in one and I could honestly collect Duna covers. Like, if I lived on my own and had enough space, like, it would be an unhealthy obsession. I would collect Duna covers. People would collect handbags, shoes. Nah, I could collect Duna covers, even if I only use one, like, once a year. I could still collect them. It's amazing <laughs> to me. Um, and I can't wait to put this on my bed because I think it will look really, really nice. So along with the Duna cover, I got this giant fuzzy white pillow, which my cat has already claimed as her own. Something I like is this one, I can actually take the pillow out of the pillowcase. A lot of my decorative pillows, like the entire pillow has like this laced into the pillow, so I can't quite wash it. Um, and this being white will probably get a little bit more dirty because even though I sit at my desk and do my makeup, I somehow get makeup on my bed. My cat puts dirt everywhere, stuff like that. So this is a giant pillow and it's super soft. I don't, it's not the softest fluffy stuff. Um, but it was like it came with the collection um, of with that Duna cover so my mum thought it would look really nice uh, there was a floor rug but we have carpet and I don't like carpet with a rug I got this shirt I did also get some more clothes but they are in the wash at the moment because we like to wash everything particularly while I'm Struggling with breaking out with hives and with my brother's eczema, we like to wash things before we wear them But I actually forgot to put this one in the wash. I got this shirt. These are the straps that go like around here um, It's more the colors that drew me in. It's got a little tie at the front But I just love these colors the purple and the blue and everything and the shirt itself is super super soft This is from Kmart um, And I've been eyeing it like all summer since it came out and I was very happy to see that I got it. This next gift actually made me cry um, because my mum and my brother put this together for me and apparently it was my brother's idea and I am very very shocked at that because he's not normally a like emotional person in terms of getting memories and photos and things like that but in case you haven't seen my update video we had to get our little cat tinkerbell put down on the 4th of december she had bowel cancer the cat that i'm talking about now we have another one shadow but she's currently under my dresser at the moment um we did get another cat but um yeah we had to get her put down it was sort of sudden we knew she was going downhill but we weren't quite expecting the diagnosis of cancer um, and she wouldn't have lived till Christmas Day anyway, so we we had no choice. Um, but Christmas Day, I opened up this big photo frame, and my it was my brother's idea. They put together all like a heap of photos of her. I'm trying to show I'm trying to show you without like getting the light glaring on it too much. Um, but this corner photo here, that was her last ever photo that we took, um, and it's just got. A heap of memories and cute photos and things and even looking at it now makes me want to cry I did have to sticky tape the back of that because the frame is a little bit cheap my mum was like oh that was expensive but the, the, the frame itself is very cheap this next thing is something that is super useful that I was actually going to buy myself and now I don't have to because I got it and I got it just in time and it is a armor all car care bucket 
Um, so Armor All is a very good brand of car care stuff. We use, my stepdad uses it, my dad uses it, like everyone I know who likes to take care of their car uses it on their car. So I really only bought, I bought a cheaper um, car wash last time because the Armor All one was sold out, but it's still, it was really good. But um, this is, this is really good. Um, I just ran out of car wash and this has got the wash and wax, which is good because I used the one with the wash and wax. It's got a glass cleaner, like door, window cleaner, um, tire foam, which just makes the tires look pretty, protectant wipes, like antibacterial wipes for the inside, and a sponge. And I just bought myself a new sponge and a chamois and I got new windscreen wipers and things like that. So I've just um, like maintained my car a bit. So once this absolute horrendous heat is gone, I will wash my car again. I don't like doing it when the absolute heat's here because um, I feel like it damages it. But this could not have come at a better time because I just ran out of car wash. In a way, I almost I looked at it and I was like why but in another way it's super useful i got the base is still in the box but i got a like um humidifier diffuser thing um my dad's side of the family thought it would be good it's a pink one obviously um i will see how this goes this may be very useful I like to burn peppermint oil because peppermint is my like absolute favorite scent and I find that inhaling the scent of peppermint on me is better than taking painkillers sometimes. Um, so I find though sometimes putting it in my oil burner is just too strong um, and I don't quite need it to be that strong so I think putting it through here will actually be a lot better. Plus, this can help in the winter if we get a cough or a cold. I can put eucalyptus oil and other. So, this may be fairly useful, but in another way, I looked at it and I was like... So, the other thing I got is actually a little non-slip mat for my car, but it's not here. It's in my car at the moment. It sticks to the dashboard, and like, I drove around the other day with my phone on it, and it never fell off. So, it's really good. It's extremely non-slip so if my brother and I tend to get frozen cokes and things like that all the time um, when we're out particularly in the summer and it's like he can just sit his drink on there I can put my drink on there it's just it's a non-slip mat for the dashboard it's got the Subaru symbol and everything on it uh, and it was not very expensive but it's again useful Okay, so two more things and we're done. So the first one out of those two things is a little baby succulent. I have wanted a succulent for like years, but never wanted to invest in it because I was convinced I was gonna kill it. And then someone gave me one. So I've got this really tiny one. I water it every two weeks. So it takes one teaspoon of water every two weeks. Uh, I swear it's already grown, but yes, I have a little itty bitty baby one. And the last item is this handbag. It's from the brand uh, Cabrelli. And it's from Strand Bags, which is a shop we have here. This is in the color Camel. It came in a white, like a steely blue, a black, um, and a few other colors. But I really like this color because I normally either use a white or a black bag. And I really, really want to start and like branch out and try other colors. I've been using this since Christmas Day, and I have to say, it's the most comfortable handbag I've ever had in my life. The straps are thick enough that it just sits on the shoulder, but they're not too big to where it's falling off, but they're not too small to where it digs in. They are adjustable, they can't come off, so it's not they're not like detachable, so it won't fall off. It's got lots of pockets and everything. It fits everything I have. It's like that soft feel leather. Um, and it's just it seems like it's going to be very sturdy. I'm not hard on my bags I don't throw them around and things like that So I am hoping that will last me a while and in a way I want to go and get the white one or just another color because It seems like so comfortable and so nice. The last thing I got as well is money. I got money off nearly everyone um, I just put most of it towards my car because it needs a major service and registration in the same month so yeah, that's going to be fun. But um, I put most of it away. I've kept a little bit to spend. I haven't bought anything yet. But this is what I got for Christmas. This was a long video, but I had a lot to show you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me, particularly for this hard month. I really have struggled 
this month. Um, my Christmas makeup look that I had edited, I filmed that in October. Something told me just film your Christmas look early because you're not going to get a chance to do it and I'm very glad I did because I had it there and it was already edited and everything. I'd had it edited for like a week and a half before I uploaded it but and then everything happened with Tinkerbell and I didn't want to upload it. Um, but I had to, like, I didn't have to, but I wanted to because I was actually happy with the Christmas look this year. I thought it was very nice. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys for sticking with me. If I don't see you in the rest of 2018, I hope you have a fantastic year, fantastic New Year's. I also hope you all had a lovely Christmas. I know I did. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.